Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create Google Analytics 4 events that are relevant to outbound clicks. What is an outbound click? An outbound click is a click that leads to an external URL. For example, if I go to my personal website and I click on this button, then I'm going to navigate to LinkedIn. This is an external URL. If I click on this button, I'm going to navigate to my YouTube channel. This is an external URL. If I click on this icon, I'm going to navigate to my business website. This is an external URL. So an event that is relevant to outbound clicks is an event that tracks a click that goes to an external URL, a website, or a platform that is not our own. So how can we track these outbound clicks? How can we set up an event in Google Analytics that is relevant to tracking a click that goes to an external URL? What we need to do, just to take things to the beginning, is we need to be able, whenever we come to our Google Analytics 4, to go to any report and under the event count column, we want to be able to see how many people click to a certain link and go externally. This is just to solidify what an outbound click is. So let's work with a real example. So let's say that we want to track this link that says browse my courses. So when I click on this link, I go externally. I go to a general assembly page. So how can we track now this click in our uh, Google Analytics form? We need two different tools for those of you who are new in Google Analytics 4. In order to track events, you need a Google Tag Manager to be installed in all the pages of your website. And obviously, you need a Google Analytics account and a property and a data stream. So let's say now that we are there, we have our Google Tag Manager. It is connected to all the pages of our website. And obviously, we have our Google Analytics 4 account and our data stream with all our data. I'm going to go to my tag manager and the process is always the same. We're going to click on tag to create a new tag. And from there, we're going to create a trigger that is attached to this new tag. So I'm going to click on new tag. I'm going to name it. I'm going to say browse my courses, parenthesis click. And the first job I have to do is click on tag configuration. So when I click on tag configuration, I need to come here and click on Google Analytics GA4 event. So we are going to basically click on the third option. That's always the option that you are going to click, Google Analytics GA4 event. And the first thing that I need to do here is I need to provide my measurement ID. So my measurement ID is the unique identification number of our Google Analytics 4 account. How can I do that? I'm going to click here and open this drop down menu. If this is the first time that you are going through this process, then you need to copy paste your measurement ID. If this is not the first time, then the system will remember your measurement ID. So for those of you who are new and you are doing this process for the first time, when we say that we need here to copy paste our measurement ID, where can we find this measurement ID? we need to go to our Google Analytics 4 account. On the bottom left, we are going to click on admin. Once we click on admin, we are going to go to data streams in the middle column. When you click on data streams, you're going to select your data stream and this is where your measurement ID is. You're going to copy your measurement ID and you're going to return to your Google Tag Manager and you're going to paste your measurement ID here. Now, this is not the first time that I do this. So for me, I'm not going to copy and paste the value. I'm going to select the auto save value in my Google Tag Manager. The second thing is we need to give our event a name. So whatever name you give here, this is the name that you're going to see in your Google Analytics form. So if I name this event, let's say browse my courses click, then 
when I come to my Google Analytics and I go under any of my reports, this is exactly the name that my event is going to have. So what does this mean? So let's say you set up everything and you come back to your Google Analytics form. You scroll the way on the right and under the event count column, you will see an event that is going to have exactly the name that you selected. A quick hint here, never leave spaces when you create new events. Always use the underscore. This will be very helpful if in the future you want to work with these events in a more advanced way, you want to create custom metrics, custom dimensions. Now, what do we need to do next? This is 50% of the job. We need to work on our trigger. What is a trigger? What is triggering? Triggering means when is this event happening? Yes, we want to create basically here an event that is relevant to an outbound click. Which outbound click? Because in my website, I may have a lot of different outbound clicks. People can click on the LinkedIn logo, go to LinkedIn, on the YouTube logo, go on YouTube. I want to track this specific button click or maybe a hyperlink, whatever it is for you. So we're going to create a new trigger. We are going to basically uh, click here on triggering. We're going to go all the way up and click the plus button, select new trigger. We're going to give this trigger a name. Same with the event, the tag basically that we're creating. And now we're going to click on trigger configuration. Every time that you want to track an outbound click, you're going to select just links. This is the option that you need to select when you want to track any click that goes externally in your website. So you're going to select just links. And here we're going to say we want to track some link clicks. We don't want to track all the link clicks on the website. So I don't want to track basically people who click on LinkedIn, YouTube icon, this other icon, any other specific hyperlink. I want to track only some link clicks, specifically link clicks to this button that is called Browse My Courses. So I'm going to say some link clicks and I'm going to open the drop-down menu. And when I open my drop-down menu, I'm going to select click URL. And I'm going to say, I want to track this event when the click URL contains what you can do is you can right click basically on the outbound click that you want to, to track, and then you can click copy link address. Essentially, another way to do it is, or you can click on the action that you want to track and you can copy this URL. So this is what the link address is. Basically the URL where the user is going to go after they click the hyperlink or the button or the icon. So you are going to say copy link address and you are going to paste it here. I always use contains and not equals. You can use equals. Contains allows you a little bit of a margin of error. Uh, it kind of covers, let's say, more uh, options. If you want to be very specific, use equals. And then you are going to save. Now, quick note here. What if you click here in this drop down menu and you don't see click URL. You don't see this option. In this case, what you need to do is you need to, let me save basically this uh, tag and this trigger. You need to go to variables in your Google Tag Manager from the left-hand side. And once you go to variables, you need to click here on configure on the top right side. And when you click on configure, make sure that you toggle on all the variables. You basically toggle on all the variables, especially the variables that are under clicks. So click element, click class, click ID, click URL, and click text. So once this option is toggled on, then you will be able to see this option in your drop-down menu and therefore customize your event. Now we saved basically this tag. We created basically this tag that is called browse my courses parenthesis click. And the firing trigger is a click to an element that contains a click URL that goes to a specific 
URL in the web. The last thing that we need to do as usual is we need to submit and publish our Google Tag Manager. Because if you don't submit and publish your Google Tag Manager, then you, uh, your event is not really going to be active. You won't be able to track anything. How can I verify now that whatever I did actually works? So how I can verify it is I need to preview my Google Tag Manager. So I'm going to come to my Google Tag Manager and click on preview. And once I click on preview, when then what I need to do is the Tag Assistant will open. I will open my homepage or the page where this action is on. I'm going to click on connect. And what is happening here is I'm going to have two tabs on my browser. I'm going to have my tag assistant, which basically is telling me what is happening behind the scenes in my website. And I'm going to have my homepage with the tag assistant connected to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go scroll down and I'm going to click on this link that we just created the event for, browse my courses. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to go to my tag assistant. So now that I went to my tag assistant, I'm going to look here on the left hand side. And on the left hand side, you're going to see what is happening basically in my own website. Right. So you will see that there is a history change, a page view, and then a link click, option number 12. So under the link click, you see here that under the tags fire, we have a tag that is actually enabled, right? So it's, it's firing. So browse my courses, parenthesis, click. If you click here, why this tag is firing? Because the user clicked on an element where the click URL contained this external URL. And that's it. Now we know that this event is set up correctly. We verified that this event is set up correctly. If you didn't set it up correctly, then this tag would be under tags not filed. And then if you wanted to see why, let's say, where, where did you make the mistake, you could actually click on the tag and then the system would tell you, okay, this tag is not firing because a certain variable is off, a certain condition is not met. That's it. Last bit, when you set up new events, always try to give it 24 hours before the events can be seen in Google Analytics 4. It may be less than 24 hours, but keep in mind that if you create an event now, it is not going to start tracking immediately in your Google Analytics 4. So give it 24 hours, and then you're going to see this event under the event count. In the meantime, in case you're wondering whether you set it up, you set it up correctly, and you set up everything correctly, then what you need to do is, again, this process, you click preview, you go in, and you can check whether the tag that you just created is created correctly. That's how you can track an event that is an outbound click on Google Analytics 4. If you like this video, if you learn how to do it for your own website, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please like the video. It will really help us. It will really help to support the channel and create more tutorials. Have a great day and see you in the next video.